Hey guys, it's Risa. How you doing? Welcome to my kitchen. I'm so glad you're here because one of my favorite comfort foods is soup. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a delicious pea soup. High protein, low fat, delicious. Okay. So the first thing I did was I took a big Vidalia onion. You can use whatever white onion you want. Chop it up. And don't worry about it being whatever size because it's going to dissolve. You're going to cook this soup for a few hours at least because the longer you cook it, the more flavorful and richer a soup that you're going to get. Sometimes I even cook it four to five hours on a very low heat. So cut it up, add it to your pot. I'm using my cast iron pot. Okay, I want a nice size pot. And I just caramelized the onions. I'm just going to show you that I like to get them nice and brown, okay? And then I just move it to the side, and then I add about, I used a whole bulb of garlic, probably about seven or eight cloves. Um, so I like to make sure they get nice and brown on either side. And what that does is it makes it really sweet. I love sweet. Now, you don't have to, it's versatile, like I've said. And you can add it minced, okay? But it's all going to break down, all right? It's all going to break down. And then afterwards, we're going to take our little handy Cuisinart and mash it anyways, all right? Then the next thing that's obviously important is, of course, your green peas. And I'm using my split peas. I've washed them off, okay? I've strained them really well. And I'm using three cups, okay? three cups. You do not have to keep them overnight and like soak them. Um, just wash them really well. All right. You want to get all that extra starch off and you're just going to add that. So three cups. And then I'm going to use about 14 cups of water because I'm making a lot. Okay. So we're just going to add our water really easy. Okay. And I have it all measured out. I even have a pot of water so I don't have to keep running to the sink so I have a lot of water and for extra flavor um, I just chopped up three stalks of celery okay and I'm just gonna add that and a cup a half and a half of some shredded carrot and I'm just gonna add that and I'm gonna keep it on a low heat now it's quite watery right now um, and I'm just going to mix it. Now, the other thing that we're going to add is some salt, pepper, and oregano. I'm just going to add a little bit of oregano right now and a little bit of pepper. So maybe about a teaspoon. Not too much because you can always add. So about a teaspoon of oregano and probably about a quarter of a teaspoon of some pepper. Just a little bit. Now... I always add either in some Himalayan kosher salt or sea salt, but I don't like to add the salt until later because then you'll have a better idea of how much salt you need and then you're not going to put in too much. So that's it right now. We're going to let it cook for several hours. Super easy and um, don't rush it because it's going to get nice and thick. All right. And sometimes you might want to add more water. You'll know the consistency that you like. And then what we're going to do is I like to, like I said before, take my hand mixer and just blend everything together. Now, some people like to cook it and then add more split peas later so that there's some chunk to it. It's versatile, people. So you can decide what you like. And I'm going to be back to show you what it looks like once it's done. I'll be back, stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back and my soup is ready and it is delicious, it's a great consistency and I cooked it for about four hours so far. I may even keep it cooking for another few hours um, at a very low, low heat because the longer you cook it, the richer it is. The other thing is that I check it every about 20 minutes or so, and at the end, I've just added more salt, more pepper. 
Again, it's a personal preference how much you like, all right? So you might want less salt than I do or less pepper than I do. I also added a little bit more oregano. And it is a really nice consistency. I'm just gonna just show you because it is still really hot and I'm gonna pour some in my bowl. It will thicken up, especially once it gets cold. And um, you can add more water or keep it thick. I'm just gonna bring it up so you can see that it's a amazing texture. Mm, it is really, really delicious. Um, so for people that are in WW, Wellness That Works, the blue and the purple program, it's going to be zero smart points. Now, for the people on the green, you are counting the peas. So for one cup of split peas, it came up to 16 smart points. So depending on how much you use, how much water you decide to use, if you're using the same amount as I do, and depending on how much um, you end up with, then you just divide it, okay? So probably about, I would say, three smart points each um, per cup if you're getting a lot of cups. So again, you have to calculate it and see um, because everybody's nutritional information might be different and you may add other ingredients. So I hope you love this recipe. Oh, and I just made these protein bars. I'll just show you them. They're one smart point each on uh, WW, depending on what program for the green and the blue program. But for the purple, it's two for one smart point. I know. And they're my chocolate a banana, peanut butter, chocolate, peanut butter, banana protein bars. I know it's a mouthful, but they are really, really great. You get 24, so stay tuned for that recipe. I hope you love this video. Tell me what you think. Comment if you would change it up. This is vegan and vegetarian friendly. Uh, I didn't tell you, but you can add, you know, vegetable broth or, um, chicken broth to it as well if you want, but you don't need it. I made it simply with water. The longer you cook it, the richer the soup. All right, so I hope you love this and tell me um, if you make it and, you know, post it on my Facebook group, WW Tips and Recipes by Risa. Bye for now. Take care.